Now, we'd like to show you a demonstration aimed primarily at preparing a triple Olympic winner at coping with life as a public figure. So just imagine yourself in Moscow several weeks from now, and this is Golden Girl's press conference after winning her third gold medal. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, you were even invited to put some questions to her yourself during the session. But uh, with one proviso, all of Golden Girl's conditioning has been aimed at her winning three gold medals. Failure or even partial success is not something she's been conditioned for. Ladies and gentlemen, Triple Olympic champion Ms. Goldine Sarafin is here with her father, Dr. William Sarafin, to meet the press. Thank you very much for your warm reception. Did you believe it possible before the games that you would win three gold medals? <laughs> I still can't believe that it's really happened. But uh, at the risk of sounding conceited, I didn't come to Moscow to lose. How was your preparation? Which was the most difficult medal to win? I, uh, I'll take the second question first. The, uh, the 400 was the most difficult because it's the longest. Now, as far as preparation, was continual, seven days a week. Excuse me, Miss Serafin, do you mind the sacrifices? Sacrifices? You know, like not going out on dates. Well, you can't run laps after dark, but, uh, other things aren't impossible. <laughs> <laughs> like reading or listening to music. <laughs> What about, what about the future, future Goldie? Will, will you continue, continue running, or will you take, take advantage of the commercial opportunities open to you? Well, are those things mutually exclusive? I mean, uh, I know I'd like to keep running for sure. But uh, I don't know much about commerce. You see, reading the Wall Street Journal isn't really my thing. It's, oh, oh no. What journal do you represent? <laughs> There's a story that you uh, trained in the mountains somewhere. Uh, do you credit your success in the Olympic Games to uh, running at high altitude? No, no, not at all. You see, at six foot two, you could say that all my running's been done in high altitude. <laughs> uh, do you think that commercialism is destroying the spirit of the Olympic Games? Oh, well, I believe in the Olympic ideal. That the important thing is the taking part of, not the winning. Yes, but... Uh, Winning gold medals means a lot of money. Don't you think that commerce is a threat to that ideal? Well, I... Uh, I don't know much about commerce. You see, reading the Wall Street Journal isn't... Uh... I, I think she's <laughs> answered the question. Uh, Goldin doesn't understand anything of this. But I thank you for the question, Mr. Dryden. Do, do we have another one? Uh, what are your plans for this evening, Golden Girl? This evening? Well, I don't have anything arranged. Let me see. <laughs> Get yourself some stilts, mister, and you might have a date. 